Oh, they say seeing is believing. That's why I want to cross over to the Computerized Placement Center where Blessed Suga is stationed there for us. Blessed, what can you report from that center? At the Computerized Placement Center where you are. All right, so Blessed Soga is there, and you've just had um, Blessed. What can you report from the center? I can see a lot of people there. What, what exactly is the situation there? All right, so we'll try and get uh, Blessed to, uh -huh, so he's on. Um, we know that about uh, three days ago, the uh, Ghana Education Service uh, opened its portal to allow uh, for the computerized placement system to uh, be effected, which means that uh, potentially students will now be able to assess uh, the schools that they've been placed uh, in, uh, in terms of uh, admission into senior high schools across the country. Now we know that that process uh, started about three days ago. However, some parents uh, and uh, schools have had challenges placing um, students into the various senior high schools. There are also some anomalies uh, in terms of uh, the placement, the computerized placement system. So what the Ghana Education Service, uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Education, has done uh, is to open up a centre where parents and those who have challenges assessing the CSSPS system can uh, go onto that portal uh, and then come over here to the uh, nut hole and then try as much as possible to rectify the challenges that they are having with, with their system. So what you see now as course of parents who have been here since morning trying as much as possible to engage some of the uh, officials of the Ghana Education Service and the placement system to try and rectify their challenges. Some parents have gone through the process already and uh, let's try and engage with some of them. Uh, there's a gentleman here who came since uh, morning. Right? Mr. Nelson. Yes, Nelson has been here since morning and uh, he actually has a, a challenge in terms of the placement system uh, for your daughter, right? Yes, please. Daughter. So which school was your daughter placed in? My daughter was placed at Kaneshi High, Senior High School. Kaneshi? Senior High School. Okay. So uh, what was the challenge with the placement? The challenge with the placement is that where I live is far from Kaneshi, and it has been given day school, which is, will be difficult for me looking at the current situation, the transportation problem. So if it were to be boarding school, no problem. Right. So Nelson, you also tell me that um, it, it appears that looking at the grade that your child has, she's not supposed to be placed uh, in the fifth grade school, right? No, or, uh, fi all. Fifth selection. That's no, not at all, because we know that from 6 to 10 is supposed to be first grade, and from 11 to 20 is supposed to be second grade. Uh, my child got 19, so at least if not second grade, third could have been better, but rather the fifth grade they give to her. Okay, so since, since what time did you um, get here, and have you been attended? Well, I came in the morning, I went to the Minister of Education before we were directed to come here. So we have just arrived here. We have been asked just to write two choice of schools and leave. They will call us. So we don't know when they will call. So you don't even know when? We don't know our fate. They have, take, they have given us a paper to write two choices of schools and leave. That is a process. So they will call us. That's okay. what we have been told. So, so Nelson, you're hopeful that something will be done about this? Yes, of course. <laughs> we are hopeful they will do something. Thanks, Nelson, for talking to us. So Nelson is one of the parents uh, who's actually going through the process here. And if uh, my cameraman can just show you uh, what the process looks like, what you see on your screens now is how um, the Ghana Education Service has uh, arranged the NAT hall, a center where uh, it will be uh, engaging parents who have challenges with the placement system. So you see some parents already going through um, the process uh, of rectifying whatever challenge it is that they have uh, with the school selection system. So if you're listening to us now or you're watching us live on the Joy News channel, you need to know that where you can rectify all of these challenges uh, is actually at the uh, NAT Hall. N -n NAT Hall. It's a resolution center that has been set up by the Ghana Education Service. Fortunately, some of the supervisors who are here with us, uh, I mean assisting parents through the process, uh, will help us understand what's happening. Uh, there's uh, one of the supervisors here who would explain to us. Good morning to you, madam. Good morning, sir. Uh, your, your name? Afra. Okay. So Afra, explain the process to us. Um, what are we seeing hap happening now and how, what arrangements have you put in place to uh, resolve the challenges of parents who, who, who are here? 
Okay, what we are doing now is, this place is a resolution centre. Some of the parents are here that they've not gotten a school. Others still want to change school. Others still uh, said they want to change programs, courses and the rest. Others still want technical school. So that is what we are doing here. So we will look at your issue and then we see how best we can address it for you. But there's a portal called self-placement portal. So those of them who have not gotten school, we will direct them to go to the CSSPS portal and then they will go lodge their complaint that they, we have a lot of schools on the portal and then they can choose that one for themselves. Uh, but what we see now, uh, I can count over 100 parents here. What's accounting for that um, long queue that, that we're seeing on our screens now? All right, you will pick their issue that you address it for them later, but they want it to resolve yeah, they want you to resolve it for them immediately and we can't do it for them now because the access is not active now. The access will be activated latest by close of business today so we will start working on their issues and then we have their contact as well so once their issues is resolved then we give them a call for them to check and then take the slip to the schools. Yeah. Uh, so, so on the average how long will it take to address uh, the concern of a parent? Oh, by close of Friday, from today up to Friday, we should be able to clear all the issues that we have on our desk. Yeah. Are the portals still open and, and, and for how long will you keep the portals open? Yeah, the portal, we will spend six weeks on the portal, so the portal is still active. They can go there, access every information that they want to access on the portal. And for those of you who are with us on the, on the Join News channel, don't forget that this is the NAT Resolution Centre where the Ghana Education Service has set up a centre to also try and address the challenges of parents. Uh, we'll be walking you through the process shortly, but I believe this centre has been set up across, uh, is it the region or, or the country as well? No, we have, uh, we have regional resolution centres as well. So those of, uh, those of them in Kumasi, every region, we have regional coordinators and then uh, regional directors of educations over there. So they can walk to the region, take their complaints over there. They will forward it to us for us to resolve it for them. So they shouldn't travel all the way from far and near like to come here. And then moreover, we have a call center number. The number is active now. So if you have any challenge, you are not supposed to even walk in here. You can call the call center number and then your issue will be resolved for you. Okay. So that was Blessed Soga interacting with some parents and managers of the uh, computerized school selection and placement center, the resolution center that has been created at NAT for parents to go and get their problems resolved. I still have with me Kwesi Kwating in the studio. Kwesi, um, it looks like many of the things you were telling me, it's not actually what is the reality on the ground. One parent said that um, he, his child was placed on the fifth, uh, the fifth choice and the child had 19 so even if it's not first second you should give the child the third choice here you are you giving him fifth choice and that even not the problem he's also complaining that if you look at where he lives and where they've given the child the they've placed the child it's going to be a problem because it's supposed to be a day student okay Aisha let's understand this as a basic rule Nobody's going to place you in a school that you did not select. And as soon as you select schools, you should be ready to be placed in any of them. Mm. So those are the two basic principles that you have to understand. The fact that you selected a grade A school does not necessarily mean that you have to be placed in it. Mm. Because the placement is not being done for one person or an individual. It's not done on an individual basis. Mm. It's done en masse. Okay. Just opposing your performance, your grade with other students. Okay. So, of course, indirectly, saying that probably the person had 19 and should have given his first or second choice, only, only is an indirect or cold word to say that somebody who had sex should have been displaced for you. Because no, not really. He, he, he who... understands that, mm -hmm. I mean, 19 shouldn't be first or second, mm -hmm. but third should work right, out. Right, well, well, where, where from this logic? <laughs> Especially when I've already explained that you are competing with other students based on residential status that other students might have also But selected. if residential status, then his residential status was not considered. He considered. selected. How do we know? You selected it. You made that choice that this is the list of school. That's why I'm saying that before we even did the placement, there was something like we call test for confirmation. To even give validation of the choice that you've already made. Mm. It is not as though the person, I mean the parent never denied that they never made a choice. He said, oh my mommy, 
Okay. They've given me. Mm. But check the placement slip. You realize that everything that was there reflects what he has been. I, I think probably it's the choice that mm. I mean within the even within the choice is the preference within the choice that he did not get. Maybe, but it's not as though he did not make. Maybe the choice. going forward, you should allow people to choose C schools. B schools as fourth and fifth choice. No, that's what we did. So that when that happens, they will not be complaining because but that's nobody, what they did. No, so I'm, I'm, so you, have, you can choose one grade A school, mm, right? Mm. You have an option to choose two grade B schools. Okay. And then the grade C schools, I think you can choose up to five of them. And then the compulsory day within your catchment area. area. So mm. it's structured in such a way that at every point there is an opportunity for mm. you. Then that's why it's very important that during the selection process, uh, process it's not only left at the behest of the world. Mm. Other than that, they will just go and follow their friends and select schools where you, the parent, genuinely knows that their performance is not up to. And, and the teachers. And what happens is that if you miss your first, second, third, it's possible that your third is even somebody's first. Mm. He will be giving a priority ahead of you okay. in terms of the system. Then he pushes you back. And then you complain. At the end, they tell that they did not select their school. You take the placement slip and you realize that. And this man never denied that he, mm. they never selected. And He's so just not happy with you, the selection that they made. You are hopeful, briefly, that uh, all the people there will get their issues resolved? Oh, obviously, obviously. Especially the, the, the genuine ones. I mean, actually, the fact that everybody is there does not mean that uh, all issues, I mean, especially, for instance, I mean, I'm unable to, to speak to how they are going to work. But I feel that all genuine issues should supposed to be addressed. Because let's also be very realistic here. If everybody is to go there and say that I made these choices, but I don't like again, mm. whose child should we displace for you to go? Mm. It's also a question that we need to answer. Okay. I'm grateful for your time. Chrissy Kwarteng, he's spokesperson of the Ministry of Education. We'll take a break. When we'll return, Ghana faces Nigeria today in Abuja. How are the Black Stars going to be performing? When we'll return, we have all the details for you.